What's happening, everyone? What is going on? Jason, yes, or her. What a brand new video for you. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here with a brand new video for you. And I'm going to do an eating show mukbang because I'm fucking starving and I've been out all day. I had an interview earlier, as you can see, the proper attire. <laughs> No, but I had an interview, and then I actually just got my hair cut from the cuz. He said, stop by the shop. I said, you know what? I'll be right there. So I just finished that up, and then I said, you know what? I'm fucking starving, so I'm going to get myself some eat. So I'm eating today. It's only actually my second time having this before. Zaxby's. Have you guys had Zaxby's before? In my area where I'm um, normally, normally from my hometown where I'm from, there wasn't a Zaxby's. It's like all down south, I pretty much believe. So I've got it before when I was in South Carolina. Virginia it was, Virginia. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna try it again. But I had just got chicken tenders when I was there before. This time I went and got a couple different things to try for you guys. So let's get right into it. I ordered a kid's meal because I wanted to try that. And that was um, a little bit of thing for a cheaper price, so I did that. And then this is a buffalo chicken dip, but it's cold. I wish this was warm. So it was buffalo chicken dip with, oh, this is zestable dip. This is spicy mushrooms. I know not everyone's a fan of mushrooms, but I am. And then this is probably the chips for the dip. Yep. So let's try these. Oh, you can smell the seasoning. Not bad. That's hot. Well, it's warm. But I wish the dip was warm. Anyways, so, um, where do I fucking begin? Because I've been all over the place, and like I said, I haven't done videos in a while. I hope you guys checked out my glory of my Snapchat snor snoring. The glory of my Snapchat story. If you haven't, go check that out. That video was posted earlier this week, or last week, actually. And I'm trying to get back into the things of video, so... Now this, yeah, this is not, it's cold, so it's not like, mm. it's okay, but it's cold. Nothing comes close to my buffalo chicken dip. I made it last week as well, and let me tell you, everyone enjoyed it and it was gone. But this is cold. I need this warmed up. I'm so tempted to go inside and tell them to warm this up for me. The chips aren't bad. They're tater chips, they call them. And they're like thinly sliced potatoes. Well, or potato chip actually is black. It's not too much of a crisp, but like it has a thickness, which is good. Yeah. It just needs to be warmed up. My first complaint. <laughs> but this has mad seasoning. Mmm. So much seasoning. Mm-mm. Anyways, it's pretty much a beautiful day out. Not bad. Probably like in the 60s. But a little bit of chill to it. Then again, I'm always cold. I'm never warm. And I got a long sleeve on. And then a cardigan on top. Okay. I'm going to have to take this and warm it up later. Yeah. Because this cold is not working for me so we'll save this for later put that right in there like so i have one more chip though they could lay off a little bit of the seasoning too because it's a bit much Way too much seasoning. I wish I would have known. Okay. So that was that. Let's try these. Actually, let's try 
the kids feel. Oh, what else they give me? A giant graham cracker goldfish. Okay, okay, I'm a fan. I'm not a fan of goldfish, but this is graham cracker vanilla flavor, so that should be interesting. I can't wait to try that. All right. Let me get a little sip of this lemonade. It's a kid's meal lemonade. Get with the kid's meal, okay? So let's get a little sip of this. Let's see how that tastes. I told them no ice because usually when they put ice, they fill up the whole cup and then you get no drink. Know what I'm saying? It's a little life hack for you guys. <laughs> Whenever you're out, tell them no ice. Unless you know you're there in a restaurant or whatever. But otherwise, no. <laughs> so, um... I just got the kids tenders. I think it was like a four piece or whatever. They call them something different though. Nibblers or something I think. I don't know. Lemonade's eye. Remember the last time I even had lemonade because I don't even be drinking anything but water. But since it came with a drink, I said, you know what? I'll get my money's worth. I'll get a drink. Okay. So, let's try the kids' meal chicken tenders. Now, usually it comes with Zach sauce. I asked her, I said, what sauce, or can I get sauce? Or, well, no, what sauce does it come with? And she goes, Zach sauce. And I'm like, I don't really know. I don't have Zach sweets like that to be knowing what a Zach sauce is. So I Googled it real quick, because I had to pull up to the front anyways. So I Googled it, and it said it was like, Mayui ketchup, if you guys know what that is, all them Spanish Latinos out there, mayonnaise and ketchup, and um, some other thing in it. But I don't like mayonnaise or really ketchup, so I asked for some kind of buffalo. It kind of smells spicy. Alright, so what is, oh, it's two tenders and then some fries. Well, whatever. Kind of a... Kind of expensive, five bucks for that. But that's alright. I got other shit. The sauce ain't bad. I like the sauce. French fries, crinkle cut. Okay. Not a fan of crinkle cut unless they're nice and crispy. And these are pretty crispy, so it's alright. Cause if you give me a mushy crinkle cut, we gonna have some problems. Yeah. Let's try the tender one. A decent sized tender though. Mmm. Good. So good. Hitting the spot. It's probably like 3 30 in the afternoon or so, and I haven't eaten since like 10, I think it was. And a couple few pancakes, but like, you know, small pancake. I don't know. I was starving. Oh, here goes. That's how I know it's spicy. I get the hiccups whenever I have spice. Ugh. And it doesn't take much either <clears throat> to get me going. But um, yeah, so early I had like a couple of pancakes for breakfast, which I really don't ever eat breakfast and pancakes as that. But I'm gonna have a long day, so I said, let me eat something. What the fuck? Sound like a motorcycle, but that was a fucking car. Man, I met that buffalo chicken dip is cold. I wanted to enjoy it. Oh well. Okay. So buffalo chicken dip. No. Tenders, yes. And fries, yes. So, so far, two for three. Well, I'll count the chips too, so. Two and a half out of four so far. 
I'm gonna give the chips just a half because they did put a lot of seasoning on them. And too much overpowering the taste of the actual fucking chip. Mm. But this sauce is good. I don't know exactly what kind of sauce this is, but like I said, I didn't want the Zach sauce. I'm gonna ask for some kind of buffalo. She said she had barbecue too. I would have took that a barbecue. Then she said a buffalo. I was like, okay. And usually I won't do a buffalo unless I have a ranch to even it out. I love me some ranch. But I'm not a fan of ranches from everywhere because I can do a ranch dressing. But not so much a ranch dip. And yes, there is a difference. A ranch dressing is a little more thinner. While the dip, a ranch dip, is a um, like a thicker consistency. And I'm not a fan of the thicker consistency. They usually have a different taste to it. Okay, so I got a little bit of that left in there. But let me try those spicy mushrooms. Now... I love me some mushrooms, especially like sauteed and stuffed mushrooms, but only stuff with like cheese and I know some people will be putting like seafood in it and I can't do seafood. I can't do a lot of things if you guys didn't know. <laughs> Not that I can't do it, I just don't like it. Okay. So, look at how small the packaging is though. <laughs> oh, my nose is about to start running. I got the hiccups going. That's what I get for trying to eat some spicy shit. What the fuck was that? Okay. Let's put that in there. I like their bags too, right? How awesome is that? Alright. Let's try these spice. They give me a few. Well, they should for fucking $4, $5 or some shit. It was like almost 5 I think. This comes with a zestable dip. So it's probably zesty. What is in it though? I'll open it up and check it out, but I probably won't like it. Horseradish, oh, horseradish, tomato, yeah, this doesn't sound like I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm so picky, guys. <laughs> oh, okay, it's like, yeah, the zesty sauce that I've seen from other places before. And I'm never really a fan of them. Let me, um, I need to pick this somewhere. My car is a fucking mess. I still got mad shit in here from when I was traveling. I need to empty this out so damn bad. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. But, you know, gotta have patience. Things take time. Hmm. Okay. Let me try it without the dip. I think they're supposed to be spicy. They don't taste spicy. Maybe it's the dip that's spicy. I'm gonna go for the dip a little bit. This zestable dip that I'm not looking forward to eating. Mm -mm. I don't know. I don't care for zesty dips. No. No bueno, no bueno. So I'm gonna put this dip to the side. And we're gonna go back to this chicken tender box. And we're gonna grab this dip in here. Oh shit, I was almost gonna spill it. I like how they put it in this container too instead of those. That way you can re-close it and seal it. Let me grab another fry while I'm at it. Oh, the fries even have this seasoning that's the same as the chips. So I'm definitely going to warm that chips and dip up, like I said. Anyways, let me try the mushroom with this herb. Much better. Bit spicy, but better. <laughs> oh man. 
So, it's been a while since, you know, I've been doing videos and stuff, and I'm going to get back into it. I promise you. Even if it's me like this, just eating and talking to you guys to the camera, hey, I'm going to do videos and something because I always tell myself, I want to do a video, I want to do a video, but you know what my problem is? I think about things too much, and then I don't do it. Or, trust me, I'll even record a video, and then I have to never post it. So hopefully this video, well, if you're watching it, obviously I was thought about it and posted it. But, that's what my problem is. Sometimes I'm just so picky on the way things come out, but I'm like, you know what? Everything can't be done so professionally well or whatever. I gotta put it up and then just see what happens. Because that's what I really rather do. Let's post videos. I love doing it. I love the editing process. It's something I always wanted to do. And it's actually things I've done in the past. Like, if you guys don't know me, I used to record all the time and edit, edit, edit. I would have things actually on my old laptop that's somewhere here in the car. My old, old laptop that has mad videos on it from when I was younger. Mad videos. Like, I'm going to have to go through them and actually see what I can post. Some inappropriate for the internet, so we won't post those. But, well, I shouldn't say inappropriate for the internet. It's not appropriate for YouTube. Not YouTube friendly, okay? Um... No, I'm not getting naked or anything like that. <laughs> but, just not really YouTube audience friendly. And also, too, I'm careful with what I put out there because you never know. Um, but, I'm going to get back into it. And like I said, try to post, hopefully once a week, something. Definitely once a month. And I hope that turns into once a week. But so far I'm doing good because I think I did one last week, this week. So that's already now. Well, this one hopefully I'll put up. This will be this week. So that'll be um, going once a week. And then maybe I can even do like twice a week or three times a week. I will not promise anything more than that because I know how I am. And if you go back on my videos, you'll see that I usually go good. And then I slack off. Months in between almost years and I've been doing YouTube for a while I should say I've been doing YouTube but I've been recording videos and putting them up for a while I think I joined YouTube back in 2007 and I always enjoy the process I like being able to put the video out there have people watch it comment subscribe to you even when they don't know you and stuff like it's exciting, and especially to put things out there and know that people like watching it. It makes you feel good. The question on your other comments and bad reviews or whatever, but they don't have to watch it. We're not demanding, we're not forcing you to watch it, so. If you don't like this video, then go somewhere else. It's as easy as that. So anyways, after I eat this, I'm going to head back to town. I'm probably about 25 minutes away or so. Let's see what's happening. Probably not going to do anything else for the rest of the day, but chill. I got to actually finish this other part of um, this application or whatever for tomorrow's interview. I have another interview tomorrow, so that should be interesting. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, I recently moved. So I used to be in Connecticut and I packed all my shit and my dog and I said, we're getting the f out of here and now I'm in sunny Florida. As you could tell, that's why I said the weather is like... 60 or whatever today but um I was I needed a change you know I was so done with everything I turned 25 at the beginning of this month last month I'm sorry I forget that it's a new year and we're in January 
last month in December, I turned 25 and I was like, I've been telling myself, do I really want to spend another 5, 10, 15, 25 years here again? No. I need to see things, you know what I'm saying? My ultimate goal, since I was little, always said that I want to go to California. Oh. I hate when you get food stuck in your teeth. But, um, to California, and I was like this close to actually just going straight over there. But I said, you know what? Let me see how Florida turns out. I have a little bit of family in Florida. And let me see how everything goes there. If everything goes good and well, then you know what? I'll go to California. I know I can definitely do it. But California is much more expensive than Florida. So that was one thing. That was probably number one thing. And then also, like I said, I have some family here in Florida, so I do know some people and stuff, so it might be a little bit of easier transition, so that was two things, but, um, you know, weather can be pretty similar, except for California, you know, like, never rains, but since I've been out here, it's rained, but not like other times when I've been here before, because if you guys didn't know, Last year, I came to Florida like four times. And even the first time I came down, it wasn't like I knew, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to move down there, whatever, whatever. I came more so to vacation. And then I came again, like, I pretty much came like every month. Well, the first time I came, it was the end of September. And then that was like vacation and went to the park and all that, Universal and stuff. Because I have done it before, but since it's been so long, I was like, let me do it again. And the last time I was here before that was in 2015. And I had just went to all the Disney parks. So I was like, let me do Universal this time. So that's what I did. And then I was back for Halloween for October. But I was in Miami. I wasn't around the Orlando area. I was in Miami, and that was mad fun. Booked the Airbnb. As you guys seen the catwalk, if you watched my other video. The Halloween Runway Catwalk 2017. That was inside of Airbnb. We all had our costumes on and we were about to go out. But I noticed me, the type of thinker I am, I was like, you know what? Oh, my last one. I was like, you know what? These right here, these shades or whatever, dividers, privacy dividers they call them or whatever. I'm going to put these together and I'm going to make a runway. I wanted to show off our costumes. <laughs> so that's how that came about. But. It was so much fun. We had a ball. Let me save this sauce for. What's it called? This sauce. This zesty sauce. It can go. I don't like that shit. I would have known that. I would have got a different sauce. I would have got a barbecue. And use the spicy for the mushrooms and probably barbecue for the tenders, but whatever. I'm gonna keep this bag to put that in there. There's a big one out for this in here. Um, yeah, so then we was in Miami and that was so much fun. And then I came back again last month in the beginning of December when it was around my birthday. Because I was going around filling out applications. Because I was back home filling out applications and stuff for jobs. And they were all asking me, when are you going to be down? When are you going to be down? So I said, you know what? I'm going to make a trip down just so I can do this stuff. So that's what I was doing. And one motherfucking place played the shit out of me. But we won't talk about that. But anyways, I'm out here now. Searching for better things and to see what's happening. Actually, I'm going to put my water in here. Because I enjoy drinking it out of the straw. I can open this. Okay. So, yeah. So, now I'm down here for good. Like I said, all my shit with me. I packed it all up. I got rid of so many things, though. Mm, excuse me. I'm burped. I'm burped or belch. What do you guys say? Belch, burp. 
fart mouth. No, I'm just joking. Um, fatulence, flatulence of the mouth. <laughs> uh, I have water bottles like everywhere in my room. They're a little colder than room temperature, so they're not really warm. Actually, pretty good, decent. So, um, what, where did I leave off? I totally forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I came down here and I did interviews and everything, and then packed all my stuff up. But I got rid of so much stuff, as I was saying. I only really brought with me is like clothes because I got rid of so much furniture, sold it, and I was like, I'm not taking all that extra stuff. All I'm taking is my car. So whatever fits in my car is what I'm taking, and that's what I did. But, you know, everything has been working out good. I can't really complain. I went out the other night and um, for my cousin's birthday, the one that cut my hair just now, and had a fucking ball. Let me tell you, it was Saturday night, this past Saturday that we went out in. I haven't gone out like that in forever. I have been drunk like that. I'm not saying, you know, preaching and telling you guys to go out and drink because I'm not a drinker myself. But I said, you know what? I'm here to celebrate with him and he doesn't drink. But I said, I'm going to drink for you, okay? <laughs> Was having so much fun before we went out, took a shot. Right there, I know this is going to be a good night. <laughs> so took a shot of um, Fireball. Which I think that was my first time actually taking a shot of Fireball. So like I said, I don't drink. I'm not a drinker. That's been, I might have had it before. I don't know. But anyways, I had Fireball and then went out to this club. Lounge, whatever you want to call it. I think it was more considered a lounge. But we got VIP. So we got a bottle. So had some Ciroc with cranberry which just bring me back to my old days because that's what I used to drink Ciroc and cranberry vodka cranberry whatever the fuck but just like old memories <laughs> and I probably had like at least four drinks so I was pretty much done by the end of the night and then also, too, we had a hookah. So we were hitting the hookah as well. And that was just, you know, igniting the fire. <laughs> but I was feeling good, right? But I really didn't feel it until we left the place. When we left the venue, and then that's when you start feeling everything. Because while you're in there, you're having a good time, partying, dancing. And you just feeling the music and everything. You might be feeling like a little buzz or whatever. But when you get out and you actually start walking like back to the car. That's when you feel it. And let me just tell you. I was feeling it. <laughs> Got back to the house. And. I couldn't even function. No I'm joking. I was able to function but. I was debating if I should get in the shower. Right there. And I was like, you know what? I'll get in the shower in the morning because I don't feel safe. <laughs> I don't feel safe right now. It's a hazard if I get in the shower. <laughs> I wasn't completely done like that. I might be exaggerating a bit. Because I was still able to function and everything. Now, if you guys are wondering, I did not drive back. We had a designated driver, okay? So, we was good. Oh, I always get food. Stuck in my tooth back there. Ever since they pulled my wisdom tooth out back there, I get food stuck in there. So every time after I eat, I gotta make sure I have no food in there. Because that's nasty to keep food in there. It's not a fucking storage compartment. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, anyways. 
I was good to the point too where I didn't have like a massive hangover. Like I felt it a little bit waking up, but I didn't wake up with no terrible headache or anything like that because I know my limit. Like I said, I'm not a drinker, so I know how much it would take for me to get somewhere to that point, and I know when I you know would have to stop before because I am not the one to sit there and be throwing up. I don't be getting drunk like that. Whenever I do drink, that's not man. Mm mm. I'd be damned. But yeah, that wasn't bad. My tenders and fries finished. That was perfect, actually. I'm so glad I got the kids meal instead. Cause at first I was gonna get like the regular size one, but. Then I wouldn't have got probably like the mushrooms or that dip. So I'm glad I went ahead with the kids meal. Another life hack guys. Order the kids meal if you're not that hungry. It's much cheaper and a smaller portion. We went out somewhere else recently. We went out to Disney Springs. If you guys don't know what Disney Springs is but. Oh. Excuse me. Ugh. Disney Springs is downtown Disney, but they changed the name of Disney Springs a while ago. Because you guys aren't familiar with that. So we went there and went to eat and I had got a Caesar salad. That was not a Caesar salad because it was basically just lettuce and a side of ranch because I don't do Caesar dressing. With no cheese or anything I had to ask them for cheese And the lady was like Well did you mention it Why the fuck would I have to mention it If it's on the fucking menu And it's written that it comes with cheese Like I don't get it And I had um Chicken tenders as well But the kids meal It was good That's all I really eat anyways I eat like a damn kid So why not get the kids meal Chicken tenders french fries I call it a day after that And let me try this Goldfish graham I never even really had these things. And it's like one, well, two of them in here, but it's like a big old goldfish. Good. And it tastes like a teddy gram. It's basically a teddy gram in just the shape of a goldfish. Mm-hmm. Mm, green cracker. I'm over here spitting shit out. Did you guys see that? I feel like I spit it out. Spit it out. We're going to spit it out. My podcast. I haven't done that in a while, but trust me. Going to get back into things. When March comes up, it'll be a whole fucking year since I haven't done an episode. It's crazy how time goes by. And you know what? One of the programs I use, they now wanted to charge me for it. They were going to start charging, so I couldn't be free no more. And I actually paid for it, and I never even used it. That's a big disappointment. That they charge 90 bucks. But it was like, oh, if you do it now, since you're already a user and you've been using us, we'll charge, I think it was like $80 or something. So I was like, oh, let me get on it before, you know, I have to pay extra. So I paid the 80 bucks, and... Haven't even done it. But there is like 74 episodes out. So go check those out if you guys haven't seen or heard of the podcast. Because it's quite interesting. I have a couple guests on there that's came and gone. So there's quite a few episodes with guests and co-hosts. Different people. Full of laughs. Cries. I don't know. Is there any cries on there? I don't think so. There might not be no cries because I try to make it a positive, upbeat thing, so there might not be no cries. But full of happy laughter and cheer and some good information. If I could close this, yeah, some good information. And you'll be surprised what we talk about. All right. So I'm done with this. I'm gonna go ahead. What is their mascot name? Zuzi, me, lit, oh, LZ sister, Zuzi. 
Hi, Zuzi. Oh, this is LZ. LZ in the house. <laughs> These are the Zaxby's kids characters or whatever. Oh, I'm pretty full anyway, so I wouldn't have been able to eat that dip. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm like too full now. I have a very small appetite. I told you I eat like a five-year-old. But anyways, thanks for eating with me and sharing your time with mine. Oh my goodness, you have to check out. That just reminded me of those rhymes. You have to check out my Snapchat. Like I said, the glory of my Snapchat. Go check that out, the video. And just add me on Snapchat anyways, Jason. Yes, sir. All the other social goods will be down below as well. But I've been doing this thing where pretty much has Snap and... It's just great. You just gotta check it out. You'll get it once you see the story of um, my Snapchat, the glory of my Snapchat story, that previous video. You'll get the gist of everything what I do on my Snapchat, and then follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on Twitter, Jason Yes Sir. Instagram, Jason Yes Sir. Everything is Jason Yes Sir. Even JasonYesSir.com. You'll see there on the podcast and any other information where you can follow me. All that other good stuff too. And um, yeah, just search Jason Yes Sir on Google, and you'll probably come up with all my shit. All right. But anyways, thank you guys. Um, I'm definitely gonna come out with another video, like I said. So just subscribe, so you can never, you know, see that when it comes on up. And just. See what happens, because 2018 here, happy new year, if I didn't say it yet. 2018 here, and we're going to make it a good year, okay? At least for me, I'm going to try to do a lot of things. I'm going to push myself to some goals, and I'm going to make a change in my life. I already made a change now by coming and moving down here, so other things are expected to happen, okay? You guys are just going to have to check out for that, and you're not going to want to miss anything at all. But um, I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Hopefully, like I said, next week, another video for you guys. Since I'm on a roll right now. Two weeks in a row. So um, you just have to stick around for that. But other than that, I'll see you when I see you later.